in the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. Hey, Joe, how's the boxing boys? How's it going, Shane? Good, thanks, mate. Yeah, good uh, Good press conference today, very live. Um, just on uh, just on George's side, do you think that's going to be one of the main things that's going to be the difference between him... On his uh, what size? His size difference. Do you think that's going to be the major difference between him and Eubank? Um, there's many different variables you know, for, for George. He's got he's got the amateur pedigree. He's he's boxed at a high quality as an amateur. Um, you know he's he's boxed in top top fights before. He's, he's beat the likes of De Gale early on. He's had acid tests the whole way throughout his career. Um, yeah, some he's lost, but others he's he's picked himself up and gone again and learnt from them. And now he's world champion. He's not gonna he's not gonna be giving that that belt up anytime soon. So. Um, you know, size size can play a, can play a factor. But George can punch whenever he's really light and on the weight, and when he, he's just a puncher. So, uh, but from phys physical strength from the inside, that's something that he had a, he had a massive advantage against uh, Eubank Jr. at middleweight because he was naturally very strong. He throw people about, but he's moved up, gone for a uh, gone for the speed approach, and you know I don't feel on the inside like later on in the rounds against Billy Joe Saunders, he was throwing him about the ring and. And, and, and getting the, the better of him, yeah, just from being a physical bully. Now he's he's lost that attribute, so um, it's going to be interesting to see to see how he feels the occasion. But you know, we know deep down how George does. And um, you, Bank, you, you've seen enough of him, obviously preparing for this fight. You don't want to give away any tactics, as you mentioned in the press conference. Um, do you see him causing any problems at all for, for George? Yeah, yeah, listen, it's not going to be a walkover, but it's going to be a very hard fight. But at the same time, it's one that we're very confident that everything he, he possesses, uh, we can we can negate. Um, and that's what we've worked the whole way through camp. We've had guys that are real quick fighters in, in the gym. We've had guys that are heavy-handed, big, strong guys. So, you know, we've, we've, we've covered, I feel like we've covered all bases. We've had top, top quality sparring partners in, uh, which I keep reiterating about. But that's... Every time that I've had you know big fights with, with my fighters, um, you know I've always I've always made sure in, in getting them in, um, getting them in good quality sparring partners, and, and it's always it's always helped us. And uh, in regards to the other semi-final with uh, Callum Smith and uh, Bremer, um, you keep an eye on that. I take it as well. I mean, who, who do you fancy out of that? Uh, I think uh, Callum Smith's got you know going to win that one. Um, I don't know, you know. I don't think he's going to do the same job on him that, that Nathan Cleverley did because Cleverley just sort of walked into him and took his shots and Callum Smith's a bit more of a technical operator than that but I feel like he's, you know, his punch is very long, Callum Smith, good fighter, with good uh, shot selection and once he hurts someone he's a very good finisher mm -hmm. so uh, I don't know if he'll hurt him early but I say about, I think he might get him out of there in, in the mid to late rounds. And uh, just finally, after the WBSS mm -hmm. um, and if you guys are successful as a team um, what, what's the next plan after the rest, obviously, because George has been very, very active in the, in the WBSS. Um, would it be James De Gale, Benavidez? James um, De Gale has to rebuild, him, rebuild himself. Uh, ben, Benavidez has got reveal. I feel he's not a big enough name yet. Uh, uh, Ramiro is Gilberto Ramiro as well, who hasn't really fought much, but we'll, we'll just... We'll see how it goes, you know what I mean? We're going to win this tournament and that's the only thing we've got in our minds, but it would be nice to, to unify the box. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, uh, Shane, and all the best on Saturday Cheers, night. Thank Cheers. You. Thank Appreciate you. Thank you.